at Philadelphia, midshipmen from Annapolis parade before their annual battle of the pigskin with army cadets from West Point. Next, the cadets put on their show. The rival demonstrations are all part of the big football game. But now, as the cadets leave the field, I'll hand over to my American colleague to describe the play. The Army team runs on, decimated this year because of honor code violation dismissals, but still full of fight. With Navy leading 7 to nothing, a midshipman kickoff gives the cadets their first chance with the ball. Dick Inman grabs the pigskin. Navy swarms in. It's a fumble. Midshipman John Raster recovers, and the men of Annapolis go on their second march in the first few minutes of play. Vic Vine picks up eight yards. With 15 yards to go, Navy quarterback Mike Sorrentino lets fly. In the end zone, Frank Brady hauls it in. Navy gets 14 to Army 7, and the cadets get a good case of gloom. The midshipmen continue to give the cadets their lumps all afternoon. This Sorrentino pass results in a spectacular juggling catch by Dean Smith and sets up another Navy score. At last, a break for Army. Navy fumbles, Army recovers, and so do the long, silent cadets in the stands. Now it's Army on the march. John Wing breaks loose to pick up 18 big yards. The cadets seem touchdown bound at last. Watch the screen closely for the play of the year. Army's Fred Meyer heaves, and in the end zone, Navy's John Raster intercepts, just 101 yards away from Army's goal. The dive of the year tumbles Raster into pay dirt after the longest run this classic has ever seen, and Navy beats Army by the biggest score in cadet midi history, 42 to 7.